what through rain and sleet hail or high water i've got my trusty umbrella this and snow and this video will get done yes so the topic i've got for you for today is going to be a bit ass backwards <laughs> to say the least but bear with me it will all make sense in the end it will all make sense in due time ah forgive me I don't believe in Virginia weather anymore. It's lied to me way too many times. It's hot and cold. Shit's got to stop. 980 degrees one day. And as you can see, you can see my breath. It's like in the 30s right now. 30, 40s or something like that. And it's my sinuses is kicking me in the face. And I'm just not feeling well on top of uh, this past weekend was uh, fun. I ate, I drank, I ate, I drank, and now my body hates me, so I've got some detoxing and things to do. <laughs> but anyways, I want you all, listen closely now, what I would like from you all to know and understand is, I want you all to know failure, and I want you to know quitting. Now, I understand I, I'm always preaching. I know y'all thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? Because <laughs> I'm always preaching, never fail, never give up. Hard charge and all that. There's a reason. There's some rhyme and reason to my madness. Okay, so there's a reason why I'm telling you to no failure and no quitting. Quitting less so, but definitely no failure. Why is that? <clears throat> I, give you, I, I give you an example. My story here. Something I've experienced. So when I was uh, trying out for different special programs, I thought I was ready. I thought I was prepared. And uh, with every any special program, anything you're trying out for, there are certain prerequisites, certain requirements that you have to fulfill. So I'm going out for these requirements, and you know, I'm testing out, and I came up short. I failed but you know what stuck with me I learned many things that day by failing I realized I wasn't ready I realized why I wasn't ready and I also realized I could not wait to succeed and move forward with the program and do it now what kept me going, what drove me, is that feeling of failing, man. That, that feeling of not finishing. Everybody's going to fail. No one succeeds all the time. And sometimes, when I told you before, sometimes you need to fail. You know, that failure prepares you for what you're trying to do. You might not be ready yet. I rem distinctly remember that feeling of failing. The prerequisites and what I was going for. And I remember I never wanted to feel that feeling again. That motivated me, that pushed me to drive on, to move on, to keep going. Knowing that feeling that I failed. And I don't mind failing. I don't like to fail. Don't get me wrong. I do not like to fail at all. But I don't mind failing. If I try and I give it my all, despite everything, and I fail, I couldn't accept that. I did my best. I gave it my all. It did not work out. 
I can keep trying. I've always got the option to keep trying to try harder and try different things to get it right and to succeed in what I'm trying to succeed in. I fear quitting and giving up and that woulda, coulda, shoulda playing in my head all the damn time. Ah. So no failing. And the reason why I said no quitting, you need to know what quitting is like because it works the same way. If you know you're a quitter, but you don't like it, know what that feeling is like so you don't do it again. You know? If you stop because you've exhausted all options and all possibilities, that's not quitting. Sometimes shit just does not work out. It is what it is. It happens. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Forgive me. But... It, the feeling works the same. Me, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to explore every option, every opportunity possible, even if i got to create it myself. You want to be an astronaut? There are private ways to do it. Or SpaceX is one for one. It's a prime example. And if not, start your own goddamn company. Become your own astronaut. Do what you need to do. You know, the possibilities are there. This is how bad do you want it. Now, on the other again... Just know that feeling, that feeling of failing or quitting, wherever you fit in, in that paradi par paradigm, par paradigm, that, that, wherever you fit in those two categories, that feeling will motivate you, that feeling will drive you to keep moving forward, to try different things. It's something you do not want to experience ever again in life. Me failing, is that's, that's not something I ever want to experience again. Just that that feeling. But failing taught me so much. So you might need to fail. Failing may prepare you for what you're trying to do. You might not be ready. I wasn't ready. Failing made me realize that I was not ready. Clearly, I wasn't ready. That doesn't mean I can't be ready. That doesn't mean I couldn't I can't become ready. I couldn't become ready. Uh, that doesn't mean you cannot become, just because you fail doesn't mean that it's over. It doesn't mean you cannot get better and succeed what you want to succeed in down the line. So know that, understand that. That's why the point I'm trying to drive home. Know failure, know what quitting is like, know what failing is like, know that feeling so that you won't do it again. So it will motivate you and push you. When you, when you start making excuses, you don't feel like it. That's the one easiest one. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it's not good enough. So remember what that feeling was a failing that will push you. You know what? Get up off your ass and do what you need to do. Doing something is better than doing nothing. So that's what I have for you today. Short, sweet, and simple. Uh, I got some other good content for you. I just I need to recover. I need to get better. If you celebrated Easter, I hope you had a great Easter yesterday. You know, me and the kids had fun. We did some fun stuff. Had some traditional things that we did, but it was we had a blast. So um, I celebrate stuff for the children. They have fun. That's what that's what it's all about for me. You know, my children having fun and just spending quality time with them. So we all have our different reasons. It is what it is. Do you? Whew. But, as always, I appreciate you being here with me. I really, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you have any topics or anything you want, to cover, want me to cover, you got questions for me, feel free to ask. I look at and answer everything. I may have been a little distant the past couple, two weeks. I'm going to go in here right now and double check everything, make sure I answered all questions or whatever the case may be. But please, like and share and follow and share and subscribe and subscribe and like and follow and share and comment and all that good stuff. Where the hell is that damn button? And I will see y'all next time. I appreciate your being here. Thank you very much. The button.